everybody. Welcome to a new series here on this yoga YouTube channel. I'm Molly. I'm your yoga teacher. Um, this series will be all about evening wind downs. So it's kind of the opposite of our morning mobility classes. In those, we tended to start gently on the ground and then work our way up to a more energizing standing posture or practice. This will be the opposite. So this will be getting some blood flowing with standing vinyasas and then getting more mellow as we get closer to the ground. So it's geared to do this after work or like right before bed, after a long car ride, anything like that. Um, I think it's perfect for the time right when you get home from work and you're just ready to move into Zen mode in the evening. Um, a bolster will be helpful. A mat will be helpful. So grab that stuff and we'll get started. Okay, so for class one, this is called Sunday, but do it whenever you want, obviously. There's gonna be one for every day of the week. You're gonna come into a standing posture at the top of your mat. So root strong through all four corners of your feet. Nice Tadasana pose. And then inhale, sweep your arms overhead. Sit back into chair. So more weight is in your heels and your toes. Draw belly into spine. Reach your arms a little higher. And then exhale, fold. Nice forward fold. Take as much bend in your knees as you need. We're going to do this sequence twice. So the first time we'll spend more time in each posture and the second time will be one breath per movement. So let your body drip heavy. Let everything fall out of your head. Everything from today that you're holding on to. Just let it go. Place your fingertips on the mat or on your shins. Find a halfway lift. So your spine is nice and straight. Your hips are sticking back. Crown of the head reaches forwards. And then exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank pose. And then from here, depending on your practice, you can lower into chaturanga or you can lower knees, chest, shin. We'll inhale either for cobra pose, untuck your toes, roll your inner thighs up, or upper facing dog, pull your chest through your shoulders. And then roll over your toes, find downward facing dog. And just take a few breaths here to pedal your feet, walk out your dog. Find some sway in your hips. <sighs> Big breaths to release everything from the day. Our breath is so powerful and purifying and cleansing, so use it. <sighs> Good. Inhale. Lift your right heel high. So our hips are neutral, our hips are squared. Three-legged dog, and then exhale. Plant your right foot between your hands, separate your shoulder blades, drop that foot down. Inhale, you're gonna pivot your left heel to a 90 degrees, and cartwheel your arms open for warrior two. So again, let's just stay for a few breaths. Your pelvis is opening to the left, your fingertips are reaching long, gaze is in front of you, lunge into your right knee. Good, now place your elbow on the inside of your right knee, and then reach your left fingertips over your ear for side angle pose. Stretching through your right oblique, or your left obliques and ribs. Let your breath circulate. Good. Now left fingertips lead the way down your left leg, right arm overhead for reverse or peaceful warrior. So keep the lunge in your right knee. Now we're opening up through the right side body. And then straighten into your right knee. Reach your right fingertips forward, 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 and place them on the inside of your right shin as your left hand sweeps up for Trikonasana Triangle Pose. One more breath here. Plant your left hand, bend into your right knee, step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, hop, step, or float. Actually, we'll do the other leg. So inhale, lift your left leg high, three-legged dog. Roll your left hip down, and then exhale. Push through your palms, shift forward to plank, and place your left foot in between your hands. Start to pivot your right heel down. 
as you cartwheel your arms open for warrior two. Gaze is strong in front of you. Lunge into your left knee, open your hips to the right. And then place your elbow, left elbow on the inside of left knee. Reach your right fingertips long in the opposite direction of the right blade edge of your foot. Roll your chest open to the sky. Feel that stretch on the outer right hip. Then stay in your lunge. Right fingertips trace down your outer right leg. Left bicep frames the ear for peaceful reverse warrior. Good. Now straighten into your left knee. Reach your left fingertips forward. Drop your hand on the inside of your shin. Rise up for Trikonasana. One more breath, side body stretch, and then cartwheel your right hand back down, step your left foot back to downward facing dog. Inhale, hop, actually let's step forward, it's the evening, let's wind down. So just gently step forward to the top of your mat, inhale halfway lift, exhale fold, inhale chair pose, sit back into your heels, arms raise overhead. Exhale, Tadasana. So we'll do that same sequence, just one breath per movement. So inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank. Lower through your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your right heel high, three-legged dog. Exhale, plant it between your hands. Inhale, pivot, left heel down. Exhale, warrior two, cartwheel your arms open. Inhale, extended side angle. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, straighten your right knee, trikonasana. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, bend into your front knee, step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, three-legged dog on the left. Exhale, shift forward, plant your left foot between your palms. Inhale, pivot your right heel down. Exhale, warrior two, rise up. Lean forward, extended side angle on your inhale, stretch long through your right fingertips. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, straighten left knee, come into Trikonasana. And exhale, plant both hands. Step back to your downward facing dog. Slowly step to the top of your mat. Find an inhale, halfway lift through your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up to chair pose. Exhale, Tadasana. Good job. So each of these classes will start with a sun or moon or earth salutation, so just a nice vinyasa, and now we'll start to cool down. So, rise up onto the balls of your feet, hands at heart center, and lower into a toe stand. So your hips are sinking towards your heels, your knees are pointing straight out in front of you. Now from here, you're gonna separate your knees and dive your hands forward, like you're literally diving into a pool and then wrap your arms around the outsides of your shins so your feet or your hands find the bottom of your feet and you fold into this malasana variation. Stay here for a few breaths. Let your body start to become heavy and just melt here. Energize into your feet, lift onto the balls. Bring your arms back in front of you. Close your knees together, hands at heart center, toe stand. We'll do that two more times. So from toe stand, separate your knees, dive your hands forwards and around. Your heels land softly 
and the palms of your hands. Kind of like a massage for your hands as well. Just curl your body heavy. Wake up those toes, push through the balls of your feet, lift your heels, and bring your arms forward. Again, close your knees, hands at heart center. One more time here. Separate your knees, dive forward as far, far, far as you can, and then wrap your arms around, and slowly release your heels onto your hands. How small and curled in can you become here? We'll squeeze everything now because we'll air it out in a little bit. Rise up, lift your heels, bring your hands forward, close your knees, toe stand, and then sit your bottom down gently. So we're going to move into a couple bridge variations. So lay your body down. Soles of your feet are planted, knees are pointing up to the sky. And then we're not going to take a full bridge, we're just going to push slightly through our heels and lift your tailbone and your sacrum up just a couple inches and then drop it to the left. Gaze goes to the left. Inhale, push through your heels, swivel them around to the right, drop them gently and gaze to the right. Really small motions at first, inhale, center, exhale to the left. Inhale, center, drop to the right, gaze to the right. Now we can start bringing our knees into it a little more. So inhale through center, just raise a couple inches. Exhale, plant your hips on the left side of the mat and drop your knees down to the right. Let's take an extra breath here. Push through the soles of your feet, lift your hips up just a little bit. And bring them out to the edge, the right edge of the mat, as you drop your knees to the left. Take an extra breath here. Inhale through center. Exhale, drop your knees to the right and your hips to the left. Just open to the left. Inhale through center, lift the hips, drop them over to the right. Knees to the left, twist to the right. One more time like this. Just move gently and flowy with your own breath. Come through center. Lift your hips up a few inches. Drop them to the left, knees fall to the left, to the right, and then place your outer right ankle on top of your left knee. So we're coming into this supported opening twist here. Left arm reaches long out to the left, gaze out to the left. Feel this through the back of your kidneys, the back of your left glute, and up through your spine as you twist. Wind down time. Take these few precious moments to just reset and transition into a calmer space. Unwrap your legs, push through the soles of your feet, and we'll switch sides. So bring our hips over to the right, drop your knees to the left, right arm stretches out to the right, and then place your outer left ankle on the top of your right knee. So you might need to wiggle around, find a good spot for you. <sighs> Legs drop heavy. Breath is steady and slow.
One more breath. And release. And we'll move into our final resting pose. So if you have a pillow or bolster, please take that and put it underneath your sacrum. So we're just moving into a supported bridge. So inhale, lift your hips up. Place it in the space between your low back and your tailbone. Bring your feet out wide and let your knees knock in together. This is not comfortable for you. Take whatever Shavasana you prefer. Sometimes I like to tuck my hands on the inside of my waistband, just on my lower belly. Letting your breath slow, letting it move more into your belly space as opposed to your ribs or chest. Feeling fullness underneath your hands. If you don't prefer that, just let your arms hang out to the side. Long, slow, full breaths in through your nose. And then make your exhale out through your nose twice as long. Inhaling through your nose. Lift your belly, balloon it out, and then exhale twice as long out through your nose. Gonna read a nice relaxing quote. This is from a Chinese proverb. It says, tension is who you think you should be. Relaxation is who you are. Tension is who you think you should be. Relaxation is who you are. Spend three more breaths just savoring that thought. Either stay here as long as you can, but if you have stuff you need to do, gently release the bolster out from under your hips, hug your knees into your chest, roll out of your side and come to a seated posture at the top of our mat. Place your hands on your knees, one gentle inhale together. And one mellow exhale. Hands at heart center. Namaste. Thank you guys for joining for this first class in the evening wind down series. I hope you feel really just like rejuvenated and calmed. That's the plan. That's the goal is to get some energy out from after work or after commute or after all day long of talking to people. So gotta get some of that energy out and then just mellow and stretch out a little bit. So I hope that felt great. If you enjoyed it, please share it with others. Please like and subscribe and join along for the rest of the series. I'll see you next time.